Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy Indian style curry. And just a couple of weeks ago we actually had heat wave in the UK and lo and behold in a typical British style the temperature has dropped so much now it feels we're deeply in the autumn. So nothing better than a nice curry to warm you up. So I've got these beautiful vegetables for my curry. So I've got courgette, carrot, aubergine, onion, and garlic. So these are just the things I keep in my kitchen most of the times. And you can pretty much put anything you like in your curry. So Indian curry sounds really complicated because it involves a lot of spices. And I love Indian spices. And I always have a selection of spices in my cupboard ready to go. But to be honest, day-to-day -day cooking, a lot of times I go, hmm, I'm going to just go for an easy option. And they are these magic powders. So this is gram masala and curry powder. So they use very similar ingredients, all the usual suspects, you know, cumin, coriander seeds, ginger, cardamom. So the main difference is that the curry powder tends to be more yellowy because it contains a bit more turmeric. But other than that, they're beautiful blends. You can use either they both turn out delicious. So the curry powder might come in a different hotness and this is a hot curry powder so I'm really looking forward to that. So this is a stress-free and super easy way of making curry. So you need these guys in your cupboard all the time. So let me show you how easy and simple it is to make this curry. Right here I've got a nice big frying pan, some oil, I'm using olive oil, heat on, so the first thing that goes in is my onion and some garlic. And just to get the flavors going, there's a lot of garlic I know, but I don't go halfway with garlic. And just allow the onion and garlic to fuse with the oil, nice and sizzling. And then I'm going to add in my carrots. The carrots takes the longest to cook, so I want it to go in first. And once the carrots are lightly softened, I'm going to add in some chopped mushrooms. So you can add in any vegetables you like. So the mushrooms will give the curry a really nice, chewy, meaty texture. And then my aubergine. And then my courgette as well. And once the veggies are cooked down a little bit, time to add the spices. I've got both gram masala and curry powder, so I'm going to use both, because why not? So I get to blend the flavors and colors I like. I'm going to just liberally add a couple of teaspoons of both, and the curry as well. And you can adjust the amount of spices as you go and blend everything in. So you don't want to burn the spices, so make sure the heat is medium to low. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells so good. So now, to make the curry lovely and creamy, I'm going to add some coconut cream. You can use coconut milk. Um, coconut cream is just thicker, more cream. Or if you like, use vegan yogurt. It's really up to you. So I'm going to just pour in a whole tin of it. Beautiful. And stir. Oh, so good. This beautiful curry color really cheers me up. And then I'm going to add some salt to season. And that's pretty much the seasoning you need. Just some salt. You need to taste the curry to see how much salt you need. It's looking good already. So from here, you have a cup of choices. You can either just have it as it is and cook it down till it's nice and creamy. But I like to boost it up a little bit by adding some tempeh. So I've got a piece of tempeh here and I'm going to just crumble the tempeh into my curry. 
So you would give it kind of a mince-like texture. And this is a great way to introduce tempeh into your life if you never had tempeh before or you just don't know how to use it. And this is so high in protein and packed with flavors and lovely texture as well. You can do the same using a piece of tofu as well and it will give it that lovely uh, mince-like texture. Give it a little stir. Oh, so good. And then just turn down the heat slightly and then cover the pot and then allow it to stew for a few minutes until everything is lovely and melty together. It's been a few minutes. Let's have a look. Oh my God. Just look at this creaminess. Oh dear. The kitchen smells unbelievable. And you know what? It's done. Turn the heat off. And you told me that was difficult. So here's my lovely curry, still piping hot. Ah, oh, so gorgeous. And I'm going to just add a dollop of vegan yogurt. So this is coconut yogurt, or balance out with the spices. And a bit of coriander. Absolutely beautiful. So you can eat it with a big bowl of salad and it works so well with cauliflower mash or cauliflower rice. But today I want my garlic bread. my garlic bread here. Maybe one more slice, why not? There you go, quick and easy Indian style curry. You really can't beat this. So time to dig in. I'm gonna grab my garlic bread. Look at this. You've got to make this bread so easy as well. And just dip my bread in the curry and eat. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> My goodness. Explosion of flavors. Ah, oh, you've got to make this bread. It goes so well with the curry. Mmm. Unbelievable. There's only one thing better than the wonderful smell of this curry, and that's eating it. Mmm, so good. So, so, so good. I try not to talk when I'm eating, but I couldn't help it. So, you know, this curry goes with so many things and it's actually even better overnight. It's just absolutely wonderful and so quick and easy as well. So I hope you liked today's recipe and will give it a go. This curry is a must try and you have to make this garlic bread as well. I'll put a link down below for you. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and thank you for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, I'm going back to this curry.